All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM. Joining you as usual from sunny San Diego. And today I'm joined by David Van, who is in, I'm sure, in equally, if not more sunny Dallas. How are you doing, Dan? David, sorry. Hey, thanks for having me. Um, we were just talking a little bit, but I was happy to get on here and kind of just express a little bit about what land flipping is and how it fits into this economy today. And uh, it's pretty important to talk about, and um, hopefully we can get into some of that. Yeah, no, I'm excited for the topic today. As David just said, it is land flipping. And David, was, uh, Dave, you've an interesting background. You transitioned from being a truck driver to an investor and, and now you know, have found great success with land flipping. Not to be confused with cow tipping, totally different uh, activity. <laughs> but I'm really excited to learn about this because I have uh, I, I'm totally neophyte when it comes to land flipping. So, so David, let's let's start off, get into it. Just explain what it is first, and then we'll talk about the mechanics. Sure. So uh, this is definitely like um, an investment strategy. Okay, that's number one. And number two, there's different kind of investment strategies all over the place, right? But we're just doing land, okay? Mm -hmm. And because we just do land, we we market a very strategic kind of way and we get it under contract more creatively as well on the back end. And so what that means is we don't come out of pocket to acquire a property to get it under contract. We're not coming out of pocket. So it's not costing us money to get this thing under contract. And typically we get a property under contract for six months. So we have six months while it's under contract. And now I go out and I market the property. I go find a buyer. And if you're doing land flipping correctly, which you might be able to learn how to later, um, the buyer comes in and he says, hey, I want this property. Uh, maybe you got it under contract for $25,000. And he says, hey, I want this property. I wanna buy it from you for 40. So you take his $40,000 and you pay $25,000 to the seller, okay? And your profit is 15. And so this is all done through title agents. This is all done through uh, real estate agents uh, as well. And um, it's marketed just the same way it is for anything else. It's just a very creative uh, niche way of doing it without coming out of pocket, risk-free in that, in that perspective. And you can do it all over the country, all virtually too, by the way, yeah. So. So how would you go about, I mean, starting, so first of all, um, how would you go about getting into this and identifying the right types of, of plots or land to, to actually purchase or to get under contract? Because you're not, right, you're getting it under contract. Yeah, great, great question, man. See, this is, <laughs> these are good questions, right? So I really appreciate <laughs> it, right? So a lot of times you don't get to answer some of these questions all day, right? Um, I will say that when you're talking about a good marketplace, OK, you're talking about are there sellers and are there buyers? OK, mm -hmm. so we want to identify both of those things. And so the the buyers part is, is, is fairly easy. OK, you're seeing like, you know, how long are properties on the market for? Like, how long are they on the market for? Are they on the market for a year, two years, two days, 60 days? What is that? And obviously, the less time on the market, the better. And but the hard part which we go over and we, and we train you exactly how to do this. And this is what I am an expert on in the land profit generator is how do we get properties under contract for free in areas that sell fast. Okay. And a big part of that for me is getting um, properties and locations that have good inventory. Okay. Mm. So like in a place where it has like, you know, um, if, if you can if you can uh, visualize a subdivision with houses, right? You got one subdivision where there's house, 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 house. It's fully booked out. There's no more available land there. And then right. you got um, a, a subdivision across the street. Maybe it's a little bit younger or uh, something there. But you know, you got a house and you got like 20 open lots, and then a house and then 20 open lots. So mm -hmm. that's called inventory, right? And so what we want to do is we want to marry the demand with the inventory because if we can get land that has if we can get marketplaces that have good inventory um we're very confident with our sales strategy and negotiation and contracts that we should be able to get it for this price and sell it for this price because we already know the buyers are there so it's a very strategic way of doing it it's a thinking man sport for sure um, mm -hmm. but it pays off because it's completely virtual yeah so, so then, how how do you get people to allow to? How do you get under contract for no money, 
Right. So how why do why would somebody do that? Great question, man. See, he's he's knocking it out of park with these questions, you know. So uh, you know, number one, I'd say, oh, well, I'd probably say there's two my two favorite sellers. My two favorite sellers, let's call them uh, Josh uh, Smith. Josh Smith just inherited a pop property from Pappy. Josh Smith lives in Little Rock, Arkansas. The property is in St. Paul, Minnesota. He's never been to the property. I come along and I say, I'm interested in your property. Please call me. Please talk to me. I really want to talk to you about your property. I make him an offer and he's thinking to himself, wow, this is almost like free money. I just got this property. Maybe I could get it for more. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what the process is, but he's offering me money right now. That's one of my favorite. The other favorite uh, seller is uh, let's call them uh, Joe and Mary. Uh, Joe and Mary bought this property 10, 20 years ago. And Joe's been promising Mary he's going to build that cabin. <laughs> We're going to build that vacation home. Uh, we're going to visit the grandkids when we build this house. And Mary's like, Joe, you're never going to build that house. Just sell the thing. I'm tired of paying taxes. And eventually Joe's going to give in to Mary. And Mary might even call me back instead of Joe and say, just take it. Just take it off our hands. Just take it. Yeah. Right. Wow. That's, uh, that's fascinating. And then... And then, so tell me, so you obviously have a whole um, marketing process. So then how do you find the buyers and, and what makes it attractive to a buyer to go through you as opposed to, um, you know, go and buy it, find it themselves? And he's three for three right now. Good job <laughs> for that. So, so great question, because I really love and enjoy, I really enjoy explaining this from the land profit generator um, perspective, because it is a strategy on how you post and market your properties, right? Just like um, if you've ever seen really good commercials, there's there's usually a reason why it's really a good commercial. Mm -hmm. They position this correctly with the right lighting or the right script or whatever. Same thing with a movie, right? Same thing with a song, okay? Well, listings are the same thing. If I was listing a property and I'm cheaper than everybody else, my pictures are better than everybody else, I have better ad copy with urgency, scarcity, and value. Um, I should be getting way more interest on that property. And because we typically get properties at the land profit generator anywhere between 10 and 33 cents on the dollar, um, we can afford to sell it for 90 cents on the dollar, less than market value of 100. Right. Um, and even come down with that. So our perspective is, is really uh, strategic. And the creator of our system's name is Jack Bosch, and he's German, and he likes to brag that it's a German-made system. So if you know what that means, it's very step-by-step, -step, okay? <laughs> I, I needed that myself to get started, too. So, um, yeah, it's it's very strategic part of marketing it. And because we already did the homework before we even got the property itself under contract, we already know the demographics and the buying tendencies of the buyers that we learned from our, our program on how to do that, we go in with it with confidence. Yeah. yeah. So, so when somebody is doing this, so when you look at markets, obviously, like there are really hot markets, and those maybe sometimes are hard to compete in. And then there's obviously there's markets that aren't doing so well. But there's often this kind of second tier markets, isn't it? Because I hear this a lot from people who do invest in in you know real estate properties or um, apartments or condos. Um. Are there different are there different markets like that you could aim for? Like, could you say, like, I want to be in kind of these really good, kind of robust secondary or tertiary markets rather than like trying to compete in the in the top markets? A hundred thousand percent. OK, I actually wrote down two states because I really wanted to bring it, John. I, I got to <laughs> bring you the secret juice today. OK, so, um, yes, there's A, B and C markets that we qualify them as. Um, like an A market would be Los Angeles, uh, New York City, Miami, Dallas, yeah. Houston, right? Um, a B market is if you can imagine um, almost like a like a like a bubble, right? Is where the city is, and then there's that second ring out, and that second ring out from that bubble is that secondary zone, right? And then there's mm -hmm. a third zone, there's a, there's a second ring out from that ring. So there's actually three levels. There's the city. There's the outskirts and there's like the rural areas, right? Um, in that area, that um, bigger investors are already in where it's super, super, super competitive is where that city meets that second ring. 
Okay. Right. Now what I do is I focus on that second ring where the outskirts meet the rural areas. Okay. Mm. So I'm focused on typically 45 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes from downtown. Okay. Right about there is where the development that's going on there is maybe a year out, maybe six months out, but people would live there. People are more virtual now. People, uh, you know, have way more virtual lifestyle now with social media and Netflix and everything. Nobody really has to live down, 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 downtown anymore. That marketplace, there's a lot more buyers than institutions give them credit for. Um, and with that being said, this is exactly why Texas and Florida are absolutely crushing this marketplace right now because Texas mm -hmm. and Florida is there's any direction that you go in Florida, you're two hours away from the beach in any direction. So you can, you can recruit buyers and, and um, you know, people from outside the state, right? Yeah. If you have the right price and you have the right marketing, people will actually buy that property online from you. Um, it happens all the time from Akron, Ohio, um, saying, because, hey, listen, you're selling this property for $25,000. Everybody else is selling theirs for 32. It's the same property. I'll just buy this one. So that's a big reason why in Texas is amazing for this because people are going flooding into these big, big marketplaces. And then immediately they're looking to the outskirts of these areas. And that's where most of the development is right now. And the whole country is going on outside of Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and Dallas right now in these B and C marketplaces. This mm -hmm. is where the money's made. We call it appreciation zones on how we teach people how to do that with the land profit generator. Yeah. Yeah. And just going back on what you just said about the, you know, the changing nature nature of work, you know, where a lot more people are working remote. I, I also think uh, after the pandemic, a lot of people are, are reconsidering where they want to live. Like, do they want to be in 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 dense urban environments that, you know, do they want to be do they want to live somewhere where they have a quality of life that suits whatever activities or whatever they have? So. I can only imagine that this is going to increase uh, how attractive it is to to buy plots of land, not just in the in the state you mentioned, but but in other states and other cities, maybe that traditionally have been uh, kind of avoided during the whole kind of you know dust bowl. But now that people rust bowl, now that people are actually able to go wherever they want, is that are you seeing that demand increasing? Oh, it that's an amazing topic. Uh, yeah, I wish we had more time to talk about that, but absolutely. And, and I also believe, and everybody sees this, everybody sees this, that we are way more online shoppers now than we ever have been as a culture. Okay. And when you're an online shopper, you're taking a little bit more risk than meeting something and doing something in person. Right. But the boundaries of risk as a buyer is kind of expanding a lot more. And you're starting to see now that realtors have to become way more competitive to do things in person because now there's tools and technology mm -hmm. like ours, the land profit generator, where you mm -hmm. can learn how to do this um, and cheaper and easier and faster than um, like using a realtor, right? So I will say absolutely, I think a major, major part of what you're saying is that intersection of current events and culture and everything but also that people are way more apt to make purchases online more and more now that they may not buy that property, but they will at least consider it and pick up the phone and call you and say, hey, I'm interested. Can you give me some additional information? Yeah, way more than they ever have before. Yeah, and and no, I, I totally agree. And, and I think, yeah, the risk appetite is up because I think also that people realize that you know, say um, services like yours or whatever, like there are reputable ways they can do this or people they can work with or, or, or work through. Um, so where do you see, where do you see the, the future? Do, do you feel this is going to be a, a, a growing niche that, uh, uh, do you think this is going to grow this niche basically? Yeah. Great question. I, I, I love this niche primarily because it's hundred percent virtual um it's less competitive than all the other marketplaces in real estate um 
And also the fact that, you know, you don't have to go anywhere. Okay. It's, it's an easier barrier of entry. You can get started within two to six weeks. You should be negotiating with your first sellers and getting deals on a contract within two to six weeks. And, you know, that's kind of how the program is kind of set up is like very step-by-step -step and methodical of how to do this. That it, it gives you confidence as you actually do this. This is definitely an action oriented investment strategy. Um, this is definitely for people that, you know, maybe want to have something, you know, before they retire or an additional supplemental income because you don't have to go anywhere in person. It adds all the ability um, and the scalability as well that you can actually utilize your skill set of, well, I really like marketing or I really like talking to people. Or I really like doing market research. Well, guess what? This is step by step on how to do all of that. And that's what really gives you a lot of confidence. And, and I will say you're asking about the niche. In my estimation, John, in my estimation, I estimate there's about 7 million people doing houses right now. And that's including all the realtors and retail right. buyers and HGTV buyers and everything. Mm -hmm. I think about 7 million. There's about 3,500 full-time land flippers doing land. Right. So that's right. just a huge gap. It would take years and years and years, I think 20 years, to catch up um, to that kind mm -hmm. of competitive nature there. So what we have is a niche in the marketplace. We have a strategy to do it because it's virtual. It's a lot easier to get going. And we have just a massive support system. And I'm a part of that support system. And I actually help people get started and just answer questions on how to do it, too, because that's exactly what I'm doing. And I live in Dallas and I've never even done deals in Dallas and in the best marketplaces <laughs> in America. Never even done deals here. Uh, but I've done 15 states, all virtual. Wow. So um, so to tell me, if somebody listening or watching this who thinking, wow, this is kind of interesting. Maybe I want to get involved in this. What what kind of people succeed? What are some of the traits, you know, things, questions you need to ask yourself before you get into this to make sure that you are the right person? Yeah, great question. I mean, I, I definitely think that you really need to ask other people that's done it before, right? Mm -hmm. So you really need to be in a good ecosystem where you feel comfortable enough to even raise your hand and just ask a question, you know? So that's that's definitely part of it. Um, but y y there has to be a reason why you want to do and for me, when I look back on why I wanted to do this in the first place is because I knew that I had to become an investor, whether I liked it or not, I had to at least do something in investing, mm -hmm. something, anything. And I really want to do the easiest one in investing. Right. So I definitely started here. Right. So um, I, I'd say the people that su succeed in this and the people that are attracted to this is is really somewhere where, you know what, if you gave me 10 hours a week. If you gave me five hours a week with this program, I could teach you exactly what you need to do with those five hours a week. And it's not something that you have to commit to this massive time suck right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. I think that's really right. intimidating a lot of people. So I would definitely say for the people that just don't want to be super, super committed on their time, they want to try out, let's just do a deal and see how it goes. I think this is way more successful for somebody like that. Um, and yeah, the action people that just want to hit a home run their first day and they want to go, go, go. That's great, you know. Um, but I just really want to open it up because, you know, I've really I've been on the phone at 11 o'clock at night to people that are substitute school teachers. And this yeah. is their first time doing anything like this. And it really it just really feels good to be a part of that and succeed at that. And obviously, you know, uh, just, just contribute a little bit to somebody else's success. And that's exactly why I'm here. And that's why I represent the land profit generator, because I was a truck driver and I was driving a truck until 11, 12 o'clock at night and waking up at 530 in the morning. And I just knew if I didn't do it, I was going to have to do it later. And maybe I didn't have the time or money to even try. So that's why I got in. Excellent, excellent. Well, listen, David, this has been fascinating. Thank you. I mean, this is uh, it's really it's really really interesting, and I know it's going to pique interest from people. So, um, before we go, explain a little bit more about your program and, and how you help people. Thank you so much. Yeah, we we absolutely have a Facebook group. Uh, it's called the Land Profit Generator Real Estate Investing Group, 
And when you join there, I actually reach out to you and say, hi, can I help you? Can I answer any of your questions right out of the gate? Okay. Um, then we also have landprofitgenerator.com and that's where you can actually go there and learn how to be a land flipper. What are the concepts? What are the steps for free? They're all there. Okay. There's a two hour webinar where we're literally breaking the deals down step by step and showing you how to do it. Um, but we also have that support system in a Facebook group. We have land experts in there. That's the most important thing is just get acclimated, raise your hand up in the air and say, I'm new. Where can I start? And now we're just going to reach our big arms around you and say, you know what, if you really want some advice, watch this video or give me a call tomorrow and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Now, this has been fantastic, David. Thank you. One of my I love sometimes sometimes doing this is so fantastic just because I learn things that I wouldn't know about otherwise. And this is one of those occasions. So who knows? Maybe I'll be land flipping one day. I hope so. I hope so. John. Thanks a lot. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, thanks again, David. Thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.